comes to an end. Let me know if my good um you guys can hear me good. We can get ready to move forward. You guys are hearing some static. Let me know if I'm good. I want all information to hurt me clearly. Static still, you going in and out, freezing, muffled. You hear me sounds in and out. My connection is good. Yeah, my connection is good, you guys. Maybe um let me let me see. My connection is good. Let me just make sure that everything is um, hold on, let me see something. Is I'm good now, better, sounds better. Okay. All right. Okay, well let's let's get in it. You guys, I am so excited for you all. I just want you to go ahead and pat yourself on the back. I want you guys to just celebrate one another. Uh, this is a great time of excitement. A lot of you have worked extremely hard. I've gotten so many uh, uh, manuscripts that I was able to look over. Most of you guys, when I was looking over the manuscripts, I was not editing or proofing uh, your manuscripts. What I was doing was holding you accountable and putting you guys on deadlines to make sure that you completed your homework. So it was all about the accountability tonight. That means that your manuscript is about to be launched to production and you guys are going to be able to uh, uh, move forward out of information as far as publishing, editing, self-publishing, you're going to get all of that. I, I don't know. Let me see you guys. I know my con connection is, is showing very strong. Okay, so, you know, um, I'm getting some of you guys saying freezing and some of it is good for some people. So I'm trying to uh, work with it and make sure that everything is good for everybody. So um, let me just see. Yeah, but then we're going to get this information out tonight. Regardless, it's a lot of information. Get your notebooks. Get ready to take notes so you can take down this information. Um, Glory to God. Okay. Maybe I'll try to leave out and come back in, but it says yours is good. Coming in now is good, good on some people's. Ready. I just want to make sure the sound is good for everybody. Sound amazing. Okay, so the sound is good for some people, and the sound is tripping for some others. All right, so we have to work. We have to get through it. The PowerPoint is going to be up. Make sure you guys take notes, thorough notes tonight, and, and get the notes that, and make sure that the notes are very detailed and clear so that you guys can get this information. I want to make sure that you are able to move your book from the manuscript to production, okay? From move your book from manuscript to production. The biggest thing is accountability, people. It's about you being accountable to do your part, to do your portion. I've given you guys some amazing, some amazing information. So you have to take this information and cause yourself to complete your assignment, all right? You have to be able to uh, move past Move past uh, saying you want to write a book to actually taking all the principles that you've learned in this class and move your book to production. This is when it's going to be uh, very individual now. At this point, it is you as have done well with the accountability. You pushed your baby out, okay? You pushed your baby out. Now we got to dress your baby. Now we got to get a 
hungry for your baby. Now we got to make sure that your baby is, you know, everything is taken care of so that your book can become uh, 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 in a position to be launched so that you can sell your book and make some money, all right, which I think a lot of you guys want to do. It's to bring in a stream of income. Thank you so much, Reverend Ministries. I appreciate all of you guys for supporting, for investing not only in me, but in your dream and in your destiny, and for making this happen for yourself. I'm excited. We're going to jump right into this information and get right into it. Now, here's the thing, people. It's freezing for some. For some, it's excellent. So that means, you know, at some point in somebody's computer, we really want to make sure that we maybe have to, you may have to come out and come back in. But I want to flip and get the information. Uh, when I say the drought is over, I got an email from somebody. I don't remember who it was. But they said they've been trying to write books since 2003. And they stated that uh, this class have added some sauce. Come on, they were able to complete their book, so the drought has come to an end. The drought has come to an end. So this is awesome, you guys. Let's go dive into some of the things we have tonight. This is the complete the book in ten days webinar. Okay, now I want to talk about how it's been. It, it, this ten days is very intense, it's extremely intensive. It was for aggressive writers. It was for people who were saying, you know what? Okay, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Now, because it was a level of intensity, I do, I do not want that to take away from your level of professionalism, people. I want you to still be able to produce professional work even in a short amount of time. The intensity of you writing the book should not take away from your level of professionalism. So, sure that even though you've been working extremely hard, are very professional in your writing, and that you can process with a level of professionalism. Uh, if you need a couple more days, you know, if you got the majority of your manuscript and you move the next process and you you may uh, have a little bit more you want to add, that's fine, usually. Okay, so even though I worked aggressively to get my manuscript done in 10 days, when my publisher shot it back to me, there were some areas I still needed to clean up. And so I'm going to talk about the difference between when I self published my. My two books, I, I know they were not as clean as my published book. However, self-published books can still be clean and professional. They could be clean and professional. So don't get caught up and think that you're in a foot race. You're not in a foot race. You're not competing with nobody. You're just working intensely to do something at a pace that will you accountable. So do not let the uh, 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 us going so fast and moving so intensely cause you to be unprofessional because you want your book to be clean. Somebody put I want and you completed your manuscript fantastic. Fantastic. That's fantastic. You made it this far. And that's incredible. If you made it this far, you got a lot done. That's incredible. So you can calm down. I want everybody to take a deep breath and calm down and say, you got, you still got some time. Okay? You still got some time. You on the right track. All right? Now, listen. It's a good thing. Although I'm extremely excited that it's the last day because... You guys are able to witness how you were able to get something done. But it's bittersweet for me because I'm a miss y'all. I felt like this was a group. This was my first webinar, and it was a great success. I feel the team chemistry. I feel the squad. I feel uh, the connection with people that are all across the globe. I feel the sisterhood that we all have come together to sign. Uh, will I be available to help? I will try my best to the best of my ability to respond to emails and to respond to you guys and to prioritize you all over anybody else. But I cannot guarantee that I can that I can read all all, all these messages. 
manuscript and do all the extra, but I'll do the best that I can do. If you did not turn your manuscripts in, then I cannot prioritize you and you say, can I read some real quick? People, let me tell you this, adding real quick at the end of your sentence is not going to make me move faster. That's just like real quick to you, but it may not be real quick for me. Come on, okay? Good things come to those who hustle. I want somebody to hashtag, I hustle. Good things come to people who hustle. If you hustle, you you hustle from work to write your book. Some of you had to hustle to write aggressively and to stay up. Hustling me, like diving for the loose balls, being aggressive, being a go getter, digging deep. Even when it hurts at the pit of your stomach, you dug deep in the deep place and you pull from a depth to pull something out of you that has been phenomenal. Those who hustle, and I just want to prophesy. To your life for those of you who have hustled that means that you ain't let an opportunity pass you back you seize the window you scrap you got dirty you got on your flow you you cried you you rolled over but you know you you wrote even when you were sick you wrote when you didn't feel like it you wrote when other demands were on you you and may your hustling bring productivity and may your hustling bring you favor and blessings. All right? So good things come to those who hustle. That's my favorite quote. I'm a hustler. Yo, that's my DNA, yo. I'm a hustler by nature. I hustle. Whatever I get, I'm going hard. All right? So I'm excited for you. I already thanked y'all. How many times y'all want me to thank y'all, though, bro? Like, y'all just want me to keep saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of Sophia Ruffin Ministries. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. All right. Let's get into this. New authors are about to arise, you guys. Look, are you ready to take your manuscript from the computer and put it into production? Are you ready? <laughs> Man, I feel like hooping right now, though. Give me a ball. Somebody give me a ball. I feel like playing basketball while I teach. I need to dribble a ball. <laughs> it's time. Look, when I see my book in the bookstore, I see my book. I A year ago, I never would have dreamed this, you guys. I never imagined this. I just wrote a manuscript book in the bookstore. I just want to show you that I'm not some rep. I'm not some. I wasn't some already known author. No, I'm from the hood. My book in the bookstore, so new authors are arising. You are going to come forth. Your book right now may be in the computer. Your book may be in the hands of an editor, but your book will be in the books. Your book may be on Amazon. Your book is going to be in places you never imagined yourself. So are you ready to take your manuscript and put it into production? If you're ready, I want to hear somebody say, yeah, yeah, dab on you. When your book in the bookstore, dab on them. I never thought that. So I was real geek when I went into the little store and I saw my book. I'm like, yo, that's me. Yo, I used to shop at that bookstore, buying other people's books. And I just went in there and like, yo, who is this person, Sophia Ruff? That's how I did. All right. So next, I finished my manuscript. What's next? This is probably a question many of you are having right now. I finished my manuscript. What next? That's the big question, right? Number one, we want you to prepare for Put that down. The first thing when you finish your manuscript, prepare for warfare. All right. Anytime you want God and any advance the kingdom, hell goes into a panic and all hell breaks out. It says while you're writing, read your manuscript, and when your manuscript gets ready to transition into publishing, there is so much warfare on every end. And if you are a quitter right now, you might as well throw in the towel, man. You ain't even ready. If you already crying about the opposition, you ain't ready. There's warfare anytime you're doing something to advance the kingdom. Yeah, witches and warlocks rise up. And some of those witches and warlocks are your family members, people. Okay? Your family members are upset because that you you letting everything out. 
Your family is getting upset and they're getting nervous trying to figure out if you put their name in the book. There is warfare that comes. So do not put your, your family gets nervous. You start dealing with envy. People start acting funny. All hell break loose when it's time to send your book to a publisher. The, the um you may, you know, your, your publisher, or, or even if you self-publish, you may have days. There may be some frustration in trying to figure out what's going to be the best cover. You may go back and forth. You're going to want to give up, even in the publishing process. The hardest part, you already done. You wrote the book. The hardest part. You've already done the hardest part. But what happens next is, if you if you feel like, you know what, I ain't going to even be able to do it, you might as well quit right now and just leave your book, and your manuscript, and your computer. Because all, all hell going to break loose. People going to be mad for no reason. You may have financial trouble. You know, you're going to start dealing with all kind of wickedness in high places. In high places. So you got to get ready for Said, good things come to those who hustle. You gonna you hustle that made it this far. Do not. Pass. I want you to know, all hell gonna break loose. You ain't seen nothing yet. All right. But here's the thing. No worries. You've been feeling the heat. It's nothing personal. Let's just take a deep breath. It's nothing personal. Stop thinking that it's something against you. Stop thinking that it's all about you. It's nothing personal. It's just on the project. It's about the kingdom of darkness trying to come against the kingdom of light. It is with a book on love. It don't matter if it's nonfiction. Whatever it is, it don't matter if it's a novel. All hell gonna break loose if there's any indication that you are a person who carries the kingdom in your belly. And there may be messages in your book that highlight the kingdom of God so the warfare breaks out. It's not personal. You need to move you out of the evening. You don't have nothing about it. It's not yours. It belongs to the Lord. And so I want to give you permission to exit the situation. Do not get offended when your family asks you why you're writing about them. When people reject you and people talk about you and you get persecuted. You're persecuted for righteousness. You all good. Okay? You all good. God got you. So don't start trying to debate. Don't go erasing stuff. Don't try to uh, explain yourself. You got to be unapologetic at this point. Boss up. Yo, boss up. Period. And you want boss up. Because your great grandma and them, they worried about it. I wonder what she wrote about. Now, why you write the book, honey? Look, you ain't got to explain all that. Just tell them, you, as, as Apostle Tina would say, she lived to tell it. Y'all better tell. Be unapologetic and boss up. Make your face like Flint, Jeremiah. Damn. All right. Now, when there is warfare, this confirms that you have a story to tell and your information is relevant, people. Your information is relevant. Whenever there is any warfare, that means your story is re relevant, okay? Your story is re relevant. Did I finish what I was saying? It kind of moved. Hold on. There's, okay, there we go. So, prepare for the warfare. Let me share just a few examples of warfare. Family act up. Friends act up, not feeling supported, roller coaster emotions, you want to change your story, you got stress and anxiety, your finances act up, and your turnaround time is struggles. So, this is self publishing and publishing drama. Somebody say, drama for your mama. It's real. All right? Number one, family want to know why in the world are you uh, writing? Why are you deciding to write right now? Some of y'all are older, and you tell the family secret of something that happened when you was 10. Folks want to know, why now? Tell them because you live to tell it. And you survive. And so families start asking questions. All right? And then you don't feel supported. People that are in your circle are not probably going to share that you got a book coming out. People are not going to be excited for you. Nobody may tell you, great job. Be okay with that. Because your people may not be the people that surround you. And if you are waiting to endorse you and to pat you on the back by people you love, you've already missed it. The people who are going to support you are people who are called and chosen to be a part of, of, of your life and be a part of hearing what you got to say. So don't be offended when people don't acknowledge you can be at a family function and you just launched a book and people will totally ignore it. 
You could be at church and you just watch the book and nobody's going to say a word. You may not get a good job. And when you do, it might be a little shady. It might be, oh, you wrote a book? People will minimize it. If you wrote a mini book, don't be discouraged because people try to minimize it. Tell them at least you got a book. Boom. All right? People will say, why in the world would you write a book? Why, what, why are you writing a book now? That's a little book. A book is a book. So don't start getting caught up in the drama because then you miss God. Don't get like them. Don't get cocky and prideful. Don't try to clap back. You just stay focused. Okay? Stay focused. Now, you're going to try to change your story because family call you and be like, did you put me in that book? Even if you put name, they want to know what you're talking about. They want to know what you're talking about. They are very curious, and you're going to be discouraged, and you're going to be trying to change your story, and that can throw you off a little bit. Don't be thrown off. You can't be scared in this writing game. You can't be no punk. You can't be no lame. You got to be Holy Ghost inspired, Holy Ghost, and be obedient to God. Okay? Uh, don't let anybody. Like, oh my God, I wonder when this is going to take. I wonder if people going to buy my book. I wonder if this, I wonder if that. I was so stressed out in the process, I have a headache. Yeah, people going to buy your book. God's going to open up. That's a whole nother realm. Marketing and all that. You're alive. I got to calm down. I got to calm down. I got to calm down, Sophia. Calm down. Count the T's. Okay. So, the man, I had a book that was supposed to have been out at in January 19th. The books didn't show up. The books was lost. I mean, it was all kind of drama. Y'all, let me just say this. You, you got an anger demon. It will manifest. Okay? It don't mean you ain't saved. You just know you got an anger demon. You got to cast it out, yo. I had to cast mine out. Like, where in the world did this come from? Like, I got anger that they boiled up. Because, you know, the enemy will try to delay and disrupt. But don't be discouraged. Just know that you are already done the hardest part. And that was to complete the manuscript, people. So, I, I mean, I was like, bro, what's going on? Like, make her just attack, attack, attack to the project. <laughs> you know, so, uh, the, right now, to do the book cover. Or maybe you can't afford to, to do your book. Don't worry. Calm down. The money will come. If you, if God gave you the vision, he'll give you the provision. You may not have the money. Right now, your money, your car may break down, and and you know, my right after I needed the money to do my books, somebody just gonna straight up ride by my crib and hit my car and hit and run. Do you know that sent me in overflow boiling mad zone? So all of a sudden now, money I had, I just, was just all messed up. So things are gonna happen, people, but do not worry, the money will come. And do me a favor. Don't go do a GoFundMe page asking people for money for your book to help you get your book done, people. Don't do that. You are bossing up. You are being an, you're preparing to be an entrepreneur. You're going to get the money. You don't need nobody to don't do a GoFundMe. I wouldn't even buy your book if I got to go fund your book and then buy your book. Yo, we got to do better. If I see any of my students with a GoFundMe page, I'm going to share you, and I'm going to say, do not buy this book. They crazy. No go for me. Believe God. Okay. So, now, let's talk about the, uh, yeah, and your emotions are going to be on a roller coaster. I want to hit this. Here's the warfare, too. Your emotions are going to be on a roller coaster, man. You're going to be, one minute you're going to be happy. The next minute you're going to be crying. The next minute you're going to be saying, the next minute you're going to be depressed. Your emotions are going to be like a roller coaster. That is because you have just released 
something that was virtue that was taken from you. You know when Jesus, when the woman with the issue of blood, now I ain't trying to be all deep, but virtue do come out as you write because you're pouring out, you're releasing, you're giving what's you, and you're pouring that out. And as you're pouring out, there's virtue that's coming out. And when that virtue is, if you don't get the gospel overwhelmed with him, you'll be ready to do this. Yo, why am I crying? I used to just be sitting there. <laughs> I'm like, why am I crying? Low key, I may act hard, but I'm not that. I'm not. I'm not that hard. I am. A, I'm a cry baby. But my emotions was like a roller coaster. So that's a part of the process, people. All right. Have no fear. You're almost ready to deliver your baby, which is your book. Writing the book is most important. Next up is taking. Taking your book from your computer and putting it into a production. I want you to pat yourself on the back, people. Now, having a baby, listen to this analogy God gave me what I want to share tonight. When a person have a baby, the baby comes out of the womb crying, it's fresh, it's naked, it's kicking, and it's screaming. The mother and the father in the atmosphere to make sure that everything in that moment is taken care of for that baby. And so when that baby comes out, everybody's like all hands on deck. That means that now people are helping with the process of, you know, uh, doing everything for the baby, cutting the umbilical cord, causing there to be a separation. So with your book, there's like an umbilical cord that's being cut. Your book is going from the computer to production, ready to be put in production. So that means you're going to need help. You're going to need uh, additional services. And so tonight I'm going to give some recommendations, but you're going to need help to make sure that your baby is covered. Your book needs to be covered with a book cover. It needs to be edited. That means it needs to be looked over and, and cleaned up and, and making sure everything is pure and everything flows well. And then you're going to into production, which means you just gave your baby an outfit. And you ready to take your baby home. Okay. So that's what writing the book is like. You getting ready to dress your baby. Now, let's talk about editing and layout. All right. So uh, let me make sure I can see this good. Okay. Editing and layout. What is editing and interior layout? You guys need to write this stuff down. Because now that your manuscript is done, now I know you guys sent me the manuscript. I'm not an editor, people. I barely, I, look, I'm not an editor. I barely put my post up in the right terminology. I talk how I talk, period. When my books get reviewed, they need a lot of editing because I talk a certain way and I write the way I talk. So if you were looking for me to edit your book, if you don't want no ghetto slang book, I, I, I suggest I'll read the book to make sure that you had good luck and manuscript and accountability. So, what is your layout? It's important. A lot of you guys who send me script, you were already doing the editing. And you were already, like, creating certain fonts. Like, I saw some real pretty papers. Man, they got some pretty books. Like, people writing so pretty and organized. My was like a piece of junk like but anyway I'm like it was nice so your editing and layout is when you go to your editor someone who will edit your book they will actually do the proper font and the layout that's appropriate for a book what you do on word or page on your computer is not the way it's going to look in your book so there's a certain font that's used for books that are not used on the computer. So when you get your editor, you have to make sure you ask them if to get your book and do the interior layout. That's very important. Here's the thing. If you get your book published where you have a traditional publisher, then your publisher typically handles all editing, layouts, book covers, book covers, text, copyright, ISB, numbers, distribution services. This is where your book goes to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Google Play, and iTunes. Publishing prices vary based on the company you get published through. So if you have a publisher and you're taking the route of a publisher, usually there's a package that covers editing and layout and book.
book cover is all in one. Okay? All of it is taken care of when you typically have a publisher. Okay? Now, is this was on page 10? I gotta make sure. Editing and layout. Okay, editing and layout. Now, I am going to recommend, here's one that I recommend who edited my book, uh, published my first book, Point of Guard to Profit. I just people I'm recommending you guys that you can use if you want to. Now, I am not a lawyer. I am not a lawyer. So, a number is missing. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'll look it up. <laughs> Thanks. Um. If you have a, if you, I'm not a lawyer, but what I would say is I've heard horror stories of people who just went online looking for somebody to publish their book and they did it online. People took their money. So I'm not recommending that you go online. I'm looking up a number that you go online and you look for uh, somebody to publish your book. I, I recommend uh, Light to Legacy. It's a process. I had was um you know cost you got I invested what I wanted and so let me give you the number real quick. Write this number down, you guys. I don't know where I got that number from. Hold on, I'm trying to find a number. Either way it go, just type, just go to the website. Yeah, if you can't find the number, go to the web website, www.lifetolegacy.com. Yeah, the website is correct. Is that the number, 267? Okay, that might be the number. Y'all know better than me. Wow, good. There it is, 267-7477. Go to lifetolegacy.com. Um, now, he has several packages depending on what you need. When you go to Legacy, you can uh, do a consultation or ask for a package and get the information. His name is Dennis Woods. He's excellent. He produced other authors. He worked with Jamal Bryant and, uh, uh, okay, he worked with Jamal Bryant, Mary D, and Carl Davis, and Sophia Ruff. Hey, so, yo, I recommend him. He has packages where he do the editing, the layout, the covers. Uh, the cover text, when I say cover text, that means what's on the back of covers. When you read books, you see that people have a little bit about the book on the back. So he does all of that. He makes sure that your books are, uh, that goes all over in the, in the UK and other countries and all that kind of stuff. And with a traditional publisher, you also have access to royalty checks, people. That means that when your books sell in stores and your books, you know, do well, and they sell, you get a check. You get a check. And they not like getting a nice check. You know, you get a check. So that's one of the things for publishing. I think Rodrigo trying to get that up for you guys. His name is Dennis Woods. You let him know. If you want to, but when you go, let me tell y'all this: when you go, y'all dealing with publishers, so you gotta know, you gotta have your script, you gotta be professional, you gotta, you know, don't be calling trying to ask deals and discounts because I didn't. You just gotta go in, and if this doesn't work for you, you gotta find a package, or you have to find what works best for your situation. Okay. Now, self-publishing. There's an option on self-publishing that you can use by going to createspace.com. This is the, this is online. It's self-explanatory if you follow the steps. You will sign up with an email and a password. Your books are printed to meet your demand. Tools they offer is interior review, cover creator, uh, editing, design, and marketing services. Uh, so, so you can if you do self publishing. Here's an option you can do through Create Space. Okay, so you can type in Advanced Podcast. That's going to give you offers. Some people I know that use Create Space. They help you self publish your book, and 
then it would be a lot cheaper than if you went the route of a publisher. Okay? Now, if you can if you gonna you don't need to uh publish a book and self publish the same book, that doesn't make sense. If you publish the book, then it's published and it's a publisher. If you self publish a book, then self publishing also you get a free ISBN including a free ISBN when you set up your book. And what ISBN is international standard number. So when you look on the back of a book, you see all of those different numbers. It's just the way to track a book. Identify a book. It's sort of like a social security number for books, people. And you are. It's a number. That some sometimes people don't know your name, but they know your credit back to your city number. That is how ICN number is. It tracks and identifies your book. And the self-publishing process, you can get an ISBN number as well. Okay. Now, this is very important. I hope y'all writing this stuff down. Self-publishing. You want a very creative cover and have a, a graphic. Designer, do then have your graphic design. So Evan is finished with her book, uh, Reject Rejection. And so, Reject Rejection, I don't know how I'm doing this good. So what she did was, she contacted a graphic designer. She had a graphic designer do her book cover so she could start a promotion. So, if you guys are Manuscript, and you're going to go self publishing now. To use create space, create a title and a book cover for you, but sometimes they're not all that pretty. They're not nice. It's like not unique. It's not, it's like standard. But if you really want a dope book cover, then you need to contact a graphic designer and they'll do a book cover for you. And these people that know how to do book covers, they know how to do it in the, in the PDF files or whatever type of file system that is conducive for them to upload it through CreateSpace. Editors and interior layouts can be done by someone as well before uploading your book on CreateSpace. That means that you're going to self-publish your book and you want your, somebody that you know is really good at editing books. They can edit your book for you. They can do the interior layout. That means that this person has to have the skill to do the right layout, the right font and put it all together so that you're up directly it will be on Amazon and so I would recommend graphic designers some that I have used and some that I know um, my brother Rodrigo he recommends he's very you can have some graphic designers so you can write these people numbers down and get that information um, so that you can at least get your book cover started let me show you so the young lady I'm going to recommend, she did my new book cover. She did Devin's book cover, Reject Rejection. Man, how's, I don't even know which. Oh, here it is. Taz's book as well. She did her book cover. So I want you guys to type and let me know if this making sense to you so you can get the help. We will also send it in an email. All of the information provided. Okay. Okay, you heard them. We're sending in the email. Reject rejection. Wait for the questions, you guys. Don't ask me no questions right now because you're going to be wasting typing because I can't see it right now. Just let's get the information first. Let's get through the information first before you start asking questions. I can't do both. Uh, so now, if you have a, if you ready to, uh, if you are ready to, if you're saying I can't afford a publisher, but you're going to self-publish and you're going to go through Create Space, you guys need to get out. And when this over, look at Create Space. Some people I'm recommending, or maybe people you know who can put your book in Create Space to self-publish, so you can start the promotion. 
I recommend Trinisha Jones. She does book covers. She done mine. She done Devin. She done Taz's. And she doing a couple more. That's her number. Let her know. Let her know you come from my webinar class. So there could be a hurry up turnaround. Because I want her to prioritize you guys first. I highly, highly, highly recommend her. She does as well as uh, interior layout. She also uploads books on Create Space to help people out. I don't, you know, she has different type of fees, but I recommend you call it. It's a lot cheaper than if you use a pop. So, Keisha Fells Coleman is a beast. She's amazing. The numbers is up here, you guys. The number is on the screen. Coleman, I did not put a number, I put an email address. www.keishnose.com slash services. Let her know I referred you. She's not, she do, she do, um, she is not a publisher, a traditional publisher. She will help you with the self-publishing process. Okay, so y'all need to write these people down. This this is the way you're gonna get your manuscript for graphics. Contact r dot design at gmail dot com. And the book webinar call for a great rate. Check this out. Designer, he's the designer of Cast Out. And uh, is F no, not after the altar. Shame, he's shame. He's the designer of Cast Out and Shame. Okay, y'all highly recommend call cjs.com. Put in that code. Okay, put in that code. I want y'all to put in these kind of discount. Let them know where you come from so you can get a discount rate. Right? Letitia Strahan, she does proofreading. So, write these people down. When you got these people's names written, move on to the next. Y'all will get the replay link probably tomorrow, and you can text as well. But it's very important. You guys now have done the biggest part. This now is taking your book to the next level, people, to launch it. I'm giving y'all my resources. Yo! I ain't being stingy. I want y'all to have people that I like, too. I can't recommend people I don't know. I ain't try to own them, though. For real. But, yo, these people work. You see this? He the designer of Cast Out. That's Apostle John Eckhart book. Look, y'all getting quality folks. So, if you get any of your cover, your book might look like it belongs in Goodwill somewhere, yo. Nothing against Goodwill. Calm down. Calm. Please calm down, people. But you want to use quality people. This is going to take your book to the next level. Y'all can't. If you upload it on Create Space, just doing Create Space, and you really don't know what you're doing, a book, but it may be junk. It's going to be excellent. The kingdom is excellent. You can't write a good book, but your presentation is whack. I ain't buying no whack book with a whack cover. Before I even buy a book, that cover is your presentation. You want your book to look like a palace that people roll up at the palace and say, I want that. I don't, I don't care what's on the inside. Read that. If somebody pull up in the projects and everything up, you don't even want to go to the door. That's how I get some people books. Don't even want to. I don't even open it. So make sure y'all get this. All right. Move, moving on. Bro, let's take it real. Special Graves. Shout out to Special Graves. Let me do a pause. Shout out to my girl Special Graves. It's her birthday. She's turning up in class on her birthday. 29. I love you. May blessings be upon you and may this be a gift to yourself, Special. Now, take a deep breath. When y'all take a deep breath, let me know. Take a deep breath. I already gave an example of the woman giving birth. What else I can ready to say? I went ahead of myself. But anyway, you take a deep breath. You just gave birth to your baby. So 
it's a lot a lot of parents say that when they give birth to a baby they feel overwhelmed y'all don't know what to do with yourself because you're overwhelmed. Remember, I told you warfare is a part of it. Okay? I know it's like that. You're going to get through it. In real soul, it makes sense. Okay? So take a deep breath. Y'all feeling? Are y'all feeling all right? Can we move on? Because we got a lot to cover. All right. Now, I wanted to give the pros of publishing and self. I'm going to give I didn't have to worry about doing anything for touching issues from Paris. That was pros of publishing. The pros of publishing is the fact that you turn in a manuscript and you get the chill. You ain't If they send you the cover, you like it, you say yeah, yeah. You say no. They they do the editing, you approve it or not. You don't have to win. That is a pro. Thousand. You to have peace, then you'll get peace with having a publisher. All right. Receive a royalty. It's always nice when your publisher can send you a check because your book's selling and you get check. You can get that from a. That's beautiful. All right. When I turn the mic down, y'all say that it, it gets too it gets too uh, staticky. So you know maybe I go back from my from my computer. So. The pros of publishing. It's breaking. All right, you guys, tell me if it's good. Is this better? Is it better? Better, better, better. Cool. Is this is you simply are responsible for, for proofreading the final draft, making changes as recommended and approved. Also, the pros of publishing is print distribution in bookstores. That means that your book gets distributed in stores. Hey, Sheila from Hawaii. I love you. I'm glad to see you on. You get an established professional team that's working with you. They work for you, okay? They work with you and they work for you. So yeah, there's these are some of the benefits of actually publishing a book. You don't have to worry about too much. You don't have to worry about anything but a, your print. Your books get uh, go into different bookstores, and, and you have somebody to do all the work for you. You don't have to do something. but that's gonna cost you something. okay that's gonna cost you some money here are the cons of publishing I hope y'all writing this down more expensive it's gonna cost a lot of, it's gonna cost a lot of money a pretty penny slower process now if you got a publisher your process is gonna be slower where if you're working on your own self-publishing, you work at your own pace, but you got to remember that as a publisher, they got other clients. You're not the only client. So it's going to be a slower process. And especially if you don't have, uh, I'm going to give a ballpark amount in the scope. In the, uh, 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 if you don't have a platform, you don't have a big audience, and you're a publisher, so you're looking on a turnaround time, your turnaround time would be more. Maybe even a year, depending.
depending on what type of publisher you my, my publisher worked at a very good pace because he believed in my book. And even though he had you build a relationship with your publisher. That's why I don't recommend you to just go find somebody, any old body. Because then they're not invested in you. They're not invested in you. My publisher took three months to get mine done because we had relationship. But when you don't have relationship with a publisher and you pass up somebody do they're not going to let you prioritize you. You're just another number and another book. So it can take, like I said, months to maybe over a year. It's a slower process if you have a publisher, the publisher, and the company. You need a relation. You should have some type of relationship with a person that's working with your material. Don't go finding people on the internet. Care the word Christian body. They, you know, don't be moved by because it's a Christian publishing company. People, just saying. Lost state of don't think this should be in the book. They'll tell you what to add or remove. They will try to change your title and title cover, and and, and have you articulate your words a certain way in your book. Now, because I had a relationship with my publisher, I know I wasn't giving him control. I make the decisions. But I know he wanted my book instead of being called Point Guard the Prophet. I think he said from Point Guard to to uh, Praiser. And I said, absolutely not, sir. Absolutely not. you got to be kidding me. That's not what, that's not the vision of this book. And then when I had my cover, here I am holding a basketball, thought I had to put on a robe, a robe, and stand behind some choir members. Sir, I never was in the choir. And I'm not putting on a robe. So he was like, for real, Sophia? He was like, I think that would sell better. I said, I don't care what you think, sir, but, uh, do I look like I wear a long white robe with a clergy collar? I'm too swag for that. No, not happening. And he ended up working with me, but just imagine the point guard the prophet called point guard the praise, and I'm on the cover with a long white robe on. Y'all wouldn't buy that book. Heck, I wouldn't even buy the book. It looked spooky, and it was ugly. I saw ball. Not today. Now. Devin, stop. So a publisher will try to take away. And then I notice I talk with slang now, Rebanks, Dr. April. I talk with slang. I may say, y'all tripping. Y'all want to hang out. Don't be changing my words. Say that. So I had to tell him, sir, some of the slang, you, you, killing, you killing the book, sir. You killing my book. You can't get rid of the slang. Like, dude, keep the slang. Just correct the grammar, the, 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 you know, commas and periods and stuff. Don't go doing that. And he was like, well, I just don't understand what you're trying to say. I said, well, you don't know. But some people that are really going to know what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. Don't let your editing be so thorough. It changed the way you talk. So, people who read my book, it sounds like I talk. You got to keep your personality. You got to keep your personality. Like, it was like, you all have done very well. I'm like, y'all do it. Y'all dope. And it's like, well, what is the update your vocabulary, man? <laughs> so that's what some cons is about a publisher. Publishers are not going to want they don't care nothing about your personality. They just want the book to be clean and thorough for making the decision. And uh no, that's why you gotta have somebody that you have a relationship with. And I end up telling him about it. He started laughing and was like, you know, when I read your book, you right, I couldn't change all that. He's 
You needed to have this because that's what makes your book unique. And that's what makes it Sophia Robinson. You know, so that's some cons, people. Another kind of publishing. Get on like so publish this all this with my money. Your publisher gets some of that cake. So while you up there selling all them books, your publisher cashing in too. They get that money. All the time. Every time you get ready to reprint books, your publisher gets some of that money. Your publisher so yeah you got to read your contract to present protect yourself from losing some of y'all cannot be so desperate to sign a contract you'll read it you might give all your rights and money and a certain percentage to your publisher that's why you might need an attorney to read over your contract you just might be so excited you are saying you can print if you're not good at reading that print, you better hire you a lawyer for about just to read the contract. Online publishing is taking a risk because you don't know the credibility, so be very cautious. Do not just get somebody because it's a Christian.com. That's just like you, you, you want a man or a woman so bad you go Christian mingle. They just as worse as any other mingle. They put Christian by it like that's just glorified and make it holy. Putting Christian by some don't make it holy. And I seen some Christian publishing these rob people blind. And they like, well they was a they say Christian. Honey, Christians lie all the time. Crooks and liars. And hire an attorney to read a contract. If you get a contract for a publishing company, so y'all be like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying with your Christian Mingle dot com, like that means some. You might as well go back to Black Planet. They all like, so y'all got all the cons, right? Self-publishing, show me the money. It's all your money. Self-publishing is yours. You got total control over your creativity and your content. You make the decisions. You your own boss. Y'all cracking up. Y'all funny. It's cheaper. Fast, fast turnaround on getting your books printed. Cash me outside. How about that? Get a faster turnaround time, and you get the key and control of your content. Everything is going through you. You make all the decisions. You have the final say. How about that? Was that the only problem self-publishing? Yeah, well, that's all I put down. Cons of self-publishing. You have to do all the extra work. You got to make sure your cover is, your layout, make sure you got an ISBN. You would need help to ensure professionalism of your book. Now, I'm a sorry when I wrote Shame and After the Altar. And my mistake was, thank God Shame was edited extremely well. But normally it's like two or three people that edit and you edit and you proof your book before you actually have them printed. So if you were to do a self-published book through CreateSpace, they will actually send you one book and you're able to read over it to make sure that everything is the way you want it before you print all your books. Well, because I was in such a big hurry, beat myself up. After the altar had quite a few grammatical mistakes that I found in it after the fact, after I printed 300. I'm going to sell them 300. Y'all just got to excuse it. Y'all got to be like, Sophia, get a little ghetto. You know, we're going to excuse it for her. The content is good. But excuse me if you got a book with a couple, you know, misspelled words. <laughs> Yo, I'm serious. So you got to make sure. I'm telling you, my mistake is I didn't proof it. I just was like, yeah, just print them. I trust it. But me not proofing it caused me to later on find error. And because I like perfection, 
I was a little like man frustrated, but I am going to for the next books I print, they they will be corrected. But the kind of people that's getting those books now, excuse it. You know, y'all love me anyway. Don't do that to me. Don't call me slow. Y'all gonna be like she teaching people how to write a book, but she's spelling stuff wrong. That's okay. That's okay. We'll be all right as a team. Cover me, y'all. So. You got to proof your book, and you got to make sure you look for extra help or professionalism by asking other people to check it out and to look it over to make sure. Don't be in such a big hurry. You've done the, see, the manus, my manuscript was done in 10 days, y'all. My book took me about three months before it went into production. So that's the thing. Don't think that your whole, everything happens in 10 days. The book is done, the manuscript. The next step may take some time so that you can have a very professional book. Okay? Another kind of self-publishing. You need a budget up front to cover your expenses. You're going to need a budget up front. Like, you cannot be like, you wrote the book, that's the hardest part. But now you got to have some money. You got to have a little money, people. And I'm going to tell you some estimate prices, but it don't mean that's everything. You got to have some, some money to cover the expenses. And then, you know, you I will, I'm going to get some ballpark figures in a minute. But you got to be prepared to have some type of cash to, to, to get your books uh, published and released and launched. You'll get the book, make the money back when you sell your books. So you make your money back. So you really lend it to yourself. You know, you know how some of y'all go to pay their loans? They give you a loan and later on you pay them back. That's how you do with think about it when you're doing your book. You loaning yourself the money to get a book and you're gonna pay yourself back when you sell them. Hello? Yo, thank it. It's difficult to get printed books uh to get books distributed in bookstores when you self-publish. Um and you must prove multiple times to ensure not too many grammatical errors are in the book. Okay. Promote. Promote. Creativity, y'all. You got to use creativity to promote. Now, later on, after we, I, probably in a couple months, I want to give y'all time to get your books done. I want to give you time to get your books all the way completed. And then I want to do a webinar on marketing and promoting so that you can sell your books and creative ways to launch your book to make money, people. Create certain creative things and buzzwords you got to do to uh, make sure that your book sells. So if you already have your cover done and you know your book is going to be done by spring, now is a good time to start promoting. Write, create, write. You got to be creative. Get a cover complete and begin to promote. As you guys see, Devin has launched her, her book uh, on, on, on uh, Facebook. Uh, Taz launched her book on Facebook. You know, I put my book on Facebook. Why? Because I got to start putting the buzz out. You got to start letting people know, yo, I'm done. My book is coming spring of, of, of 2K17. Okay? But you got to be creative. This will begin to put a buzz in your audience ear that your book is coming soon. You got to give a buzz to your audience to make them anticipate what you got coming. Okay, so your audience will begin to build as they know that you got something that you're going to release. And then you got to be aggressive. You have to start, you have to start aggressively promoting yourself. You got to self-promote your book. It's your book. You got to begin to create a platform and self-promote your book because remember I told you, your friends might not share you. They're, they're not going to probably share you. And you got to be okay with that. Don't be like, oh, we shouldn't even share my book. It's okay. You got to use your own platform to market. And you got to use your social media. You got you to gotta talk about it. You got to do some tags with it. You got to be creative. So may the creative anointing come upon you to put the buzz out there that you got a book on the way. This was something. I wanted to give you all this sneak peek and some extra. But... Promotion is going to be coming because when y'all get y'all books, you're going to have to know how do I market, and that will be a good. That's a good class I'm going to be doing. How do you market and get your books sold? You need money. You want people to buy. You got to begin to build an audience using unique buzzwords and a unique style and being yourself. People got to like you. I don't know. I just holler all day long. Folks like that, so I'm a holler. Buy my book, bro. Folks gonna buy the book. You see what I'm saying? 
but you may not. Dr. April, I don't expect to see Dr. April going on no periscope hollering like me. I'd be like, woman, what is wrong with you? I, I, Nari Banks, you, you know she got to use up. Ambrio, I love Ambrio, God's girl. Charmaine, y'all got to be yourself. Find a uniqueness, because now you're about to step into the role of an author, but if don't nobody know about it, then technically you just wrote a book, and if you're not planning on selling it, it's just like having a, a journal. Yo, be yourself. Right, Philly, Apostle Fuller. Got to be unique. You got to start putting buzz out there. You got to have a good time. You got to believe in what you just did. Yeah, closed mouth, don't eat. And I'll keep my mouth open. I stay hungry. Okay. Yup. Promote. Now, I'm promoting my coach. Y'all already know. Pastor John Eckhart, if you feel like you've gotten a good start in my class, but you want to take it to another level, you want to go deeper, you want to go higher, you want to get an impartation from the man of God that is, I mean, hello, way in the sky with this stuff. You can go right now to uh, meet my coach in Orlando, April 28th and 29th, by going to www.writeit2017.eventbrite.com. I really need to get my ticket to go before y'all take my spot, okay? I need to get there because I know that there's an impartation that he's going to release, and he's going to take book writing to another level. It doesn't mean that just because you did my class, I gave all the information. It is, it is, this man is a faucet, so there's an abundance of information that he's going to pour out, and so I highly recommend that you guys support my coach if you're in the area. If you're not, get there. 50 slots left. I better hurry up, bro. Let me get this $200, 197 so I can get me a seat. So you need to get there. Shout out to my coach. Shout down. Uh, now, squad up. <laughs> Let's get to this. I'm trying to hurry up. Now I got to hurry up. I got to move fast. Self-publishing estimate prices. Now, these prices are not exact, people. These are just some estimate prices. If you get someone to do your book cover, the price range can range from $100 to $150. Okay, they may be more on other people, but the people I've dealt with you can range from 100 to 150 dollars. And if you need an editor and a layout, that can go from 125 to 200, depending on the page count. Okay, um, Create Space books can range from now going on Create Space, I believe, is free to do it on Create Space, but you got to buy your book, and it can range from $2, or maybe cheaper, but $2 per book on up, depending on the page count. For example, uh, you can pay for a book $2.50 per book, but if you sell your book for $10, you just made a $7.50 profit. So here are some estimate prices. Let's say that you're saying, okay, Sophia, uh, I'm going to go the self-publishing route. I'm going to get me a graphic designer. I'm going to get somebody to edit my book. And then I'm going to buy about 300 books. So let's just say if you buy about 300 books, that may cost you about, let's just say about $900. And then you bought, you know, you had somebody edit it and all that. Let's just say a ballpark figure for self-publishing could be about $1,500. Maybe cheaper. Okay, I'm going to but these are just some figures for you to have in mind if you're going to self promote. So, look, if you get 300 books and you sell your book, let me do some. Hold on, let me help you get y'all out. Now, you do 300 books, you sell your, you buy 300 books at $10, you got $3,000. So you really, you're going to get your money back. You're like flipping it. You never met a drug dealer. Act like y'all all ain't never heard of it, but drug dealers are come to flipping. I'm sorry. I got to be kind of to help people that's too deep come up and understand. They flip. They buy that dope for a certain price, and they flip it and make millions. Y'all better flip y'all books like drugs. I'm sorry. It, they really didn't sound too contemporary since she dated one. Ah, that probably was not a good analogy, Sophia. You got people all over the world. You don't know who on here. That really wasn't good. But, yeah, flip it. 
I always do the math when it comes to these books. I be like, okay, I just gave, well, if I get my publisher, let's say I buy some books from my publisher, uh, like for, like I buy my books from my publisher, uh, for Point Guard to Profit, I flip that, I pay them, sometimes it's a huge, it, 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 you get back. Yeah, does that make sense? So, you're going to pay a couple dollars, but you're going to flip that book. You got to you gotta think like a genius. You got to think like a genius. Y'all can't go so deep in this book. Good things happen to those who hustle. Sell your book on your website. I don't care nothing about Amazon. I don't care nothing about no books, though, because all them people put some of my money. I want So... Get a website so you can get paid 100% of your money. All right? So people be like, I got my book, and all this I don't care nothing about that, because they all get some of the money. Go to my website. Bad when I come to your city, because I want all the money. My All my money. I wrote the book. Why does everybody got to get some of my change? Because I'm using a platform such as Amazon. Barn Mobile and all that other stuff. All right, it's good. Don't be so, so you flip that money. Better get, go on the corner, talk to a drug dealer, and ask them how they use flip. You'll learn. All right, estimated need publishing with minimum services can begin at thirteen hundred and up. Okay, some people might be a little cheaper, but I don't know them people. The people I know. That are uh, authentic players, uh, it can be 1300 and up for minimum services. That mean they may do the editing and the cover for you, and they may um, uh, upload the book for you. So that's that's one thing. That's minimal. Packages, a lot, it can be 3500 and up. Some free books are included in these packages. However, you have to pay for additional books. For example, Point Guard to Profit, that book was uh, published. And so I had a package deal. That uh, I had a, a package, but I had 350 books that was included in my package that I got for that was a part of my package. And then, so even when I did the 350 books that was included in my package, I was that was able to make up for what I paid for for publishing. And then, I bought additional, you know, bought additional books. Okay. So, yeah, flip like real estate. I like that, Tracy Monroe. Thank you for making me be think, think, think cleaner, okay? Like flipping real estate. <laughs> You're going to get your money right back. You got to look at yourself as a worthy investment. Here's the thing, people. You got to see yourself as being a worthy investment, that you are worthy of investing in you. And if you got your income tax, invest them taxes in your book. Hello? Promotion strategy. Promote your book on social media sites. Use apps such as, I'm giving y'all two apps I use to uh, just kind of use some of the creative things I like to do to kind of uh, keep it, keep keep things fresh. I use an app called Canva and I use an app called Poto to create creative images. Pull statements from your book and put it into an image, okay? So, for example, I use Devin's Hurts been reject rejection. So the little uh, images you've been seeing on her Facebook and Instagram that come from Canva. She's creating a buzz. So even before she launched her book today, people are already starting to get a buzz that something is going on. Reject rejection. They're about to be unlocked. So you can use some creative sources. Uh, and people really don't like giving out what they use. They stingy. They think that because they share their information, somebody going to be better at them with doing it. I, no, I use Canva and Poto. And anything else I use, just ask. I don't really even know. Uh, do some videos. Make sure you, have, you are confident because speaking about your book. Practice before going live. Don't be uh, talking about, yeah, I got a book coming out. And you don't even know the title. And you go on there and you going live about your book coming out, but you're not even saying nothing about it. Be confident, and you have to talk about uh, the book. It's up here. Canva is C-A-N-V-A, and Poto is P-O-T-O. -O. You have to be confident 
uh, uh, I think, I don't think she's on here, Ziggler, Chandra Ziggler. She did a video about her book, and it was very touchy. She created a buzz, and what she's doing is stirring people up to become curious. Sean Ziegler, yeah, about her book. I began to listen to it. I didn't get a finish it, but I got emotional listening to it because she was sharing her testimony, and she was already beginning to step out into the deep, and so you have to do that. Okay, you have to go live, but don't go live, monkey. Get on Instagram and do a quick video. Do a Snapchat video. Begin to create a buzz. Create a Facebook status and then hashtag your book title. These are some strategies I'm giving you guys. So when Point Guard the Prophet, go hashtag Point Guard the Prophet. When feminine Progression coming out, I may talk about and give an excerpt from my book and hashtag Feminine Progression. This is, this is creating a buzz so the audience are aware that something is coming. Okay? Be aggressive. Books don't sell because you wrote it. You have to promote it. Books do not sell because you wrote it. You have to promote it. Do random giveaways. People like giveaways. Like Dana Martin. I'm giving her what give away because she did so well. So do random giveaways and promote and give away stuff. Be creative. Use your social media stage. You all have a platform. It doesn't matter if you got 50 people or 5,000 people. Your platform is your people. You got to begin to, to build your own audience. Don't depend on, on nobody else's audience. Depend to begin to create such an audience that you your followers are not just followers because you're popular, but they're actually customers that they purchase product from you. And you do well by giving back to them. All right? So that was something I gave y'all for free. Hello? Because I like giveaways, and I don't want y'all to just not know what to do next. I want to start seeing y'all promote, and I'll help y'all. Now, Joyce Carl, Carl O said that she's written until the final sentence is written. So, some of y'all, this first written book, you got to have the final sentence before it's actually a book, people. Come on. Let us finish. Let us finish the anointing come upon y'all life that you done starting good stuff but not finishing nothing. If you in this class and you start to finish, I got a real problem with you. You're lazy. Yo, this is a, the, I wanted to put up there the Sophia Ruffin debut novel. So, Kenesha Jones, when I was promoting Point Guard to Profit, I asked for plugger. That's called a plugger to kind of plug your book, to begin to give it away. Let people know who you are and what you got. So, these are, uh, uh, the things that your the person who do your book cover that you can start promoting this and beginning to show them yo this is what it's about so you gotta start promoting your book don't wait and say well I'm gonna wait till it come out but also don't promote it too soon if you know good and well it's gonna be coming soon for a whole year if your book's still on the coming soon list come on people people gonna be like now when that book coming they gonna forget about it and then you gonna lose a clientele. You got to be strategic in your marketing. I expect Taz to be plugged in her book. Why? Because she's finished. So if you know your manuscript has already went to the uh, editor and you already here and you ain't you all the chapter and you got 10 more chapters, you need not to be saying coming soon because it's not coming soon. Hello? Be real. New book. I wrote my book with y'all. That bitch actually looks so cute. I'm sorry. Right now, but took a good selfie on there. Thank y'all. Because of y'all, I was able to do one too. You think I'm gonna let my class do something and I don't demonstrate as a coach that is possible? So I wrote while y'all was writing. I promise you, my mama tell you, here I go again. I wasn't going to bed till 4 o'clock in the morning and waking up at 8. On top of reading y'all stuff and responding to all y'all emails. Feminine Progression came on Saturday. I was I was writing something on Point Guard the Prophet Part 2. But God gave me something. So this goes, I can rock a hat. But I'm still, I'm still in my Feminine Progression. So, yo, thank y'all for helping y'all coach. Launch a book as well. All right.
Now, questions real quick, and then a few questions. I want to pray and release an impartation over y'all life uh, for all of you. If you did not ever turn in a manuscript, your copy with copywriting, all of that will be done. You can get that copywritten through, through even through uh, Create Space and Self Publishing, and the publisher they will give you your, your book will be copywritten. All of that. So if you take the self publishing process, it will be it will be done. Yeah, I think it's a book on Facebook. I never really seen it too much either. If you don't have a title, then you don't need to have a book cover to you. I know I don't recommend a publisher for the first book. It's either way. Either way, I believe that you got enough information now that either way you can take from this information. If you know that you got the money and you're not going to, um, you don't want to do none of the work, then get a publisher. But, yeah. You do have to ask the person if you can use their name, but to prevent from getting sued, I really don't know how to ask. I've been recommended to tell you to see an ask an attorney because, you know, people do come back and want to sue you. Let's say you get rich off and folks like, you ain't asked me, could I, could I put your name, you know, put, do all that. So you probably want to ask an attorney. At what point do you start self-promoting? You start promoting immediately when you know your book is, your manuscript is done. When you know your manuscript is done and you get your book cover done, immediately start publish. I mean start promoting. Thank you so much, Tamika Eccles. You changed on it, yeah, to be safe. Also, I already paid for a publisher, so I have to continue with them and not self publish. Well, if you already have a publisher, I hope somebody that you got a relationship with, somebody that you know and trust, and you take some of this that you learned today and you hold your publisher accountable. Don't let them, you know, G you out your money. Do you have to use names? No. Don't have to if you don't want to. What you gonna call them? It. <laughs> Make up a name. Everything, every name in my book is made up. Even the schools I went to, the church I went to, I made up everybody's name except for my parents and my siblings because I know they ain't gonna sue me, but you never know. Some of y'all got some crazy family. I, you know, I wish my family would try to sue me. I sue them. Which steps should I take first with self publishing? With self-publishing, the first thing you should do is move your, you need to contact somebody about doing the editing and the layout and the cover. All three of them done, need to be done simultaneously. If you turn your book in to get edited and published, at least have your, at least have about $300 or maybe even more depending on who you use. Now, Keisha Coleman, she does self-publishing and she does it all and it might be about $1,500. You know, that's still not bad. She's going to do it all. It might be about that, but I can't I can't quote you. My book was sent in. Can I have a time frame of when I'll get a response? Why? Huh? If your book was sent in to who? If your book was sent in for self-publishing, it could take about two weeks if you use the space. Is there... I, um, I gave y'all the names of some good editors. Written manuscript, can I have it audibly transcribed? You can if you want to. You have three books. How should I release them every two months? You can release them however you want to. I release two at the same time. Michelle J. Miller is amazing. She released three, I believe, at the same time. So however you want to do, then yeah. Awesome. Can I acknowledge you? Yeah, you can acknowledge me. Or if y'all want to acknowledge me in your book, just make sure you say something sweet. Yep, you can. You can. You can. Uh, what's that word? Acknowledge me. Sure. A developmental edit. No, it's just like an interior edit. It's just editing. No, you can send your manuscripts in two weeks, but I cannot guarantee. I hit the road next week, y'all. That's why I gotta start uh, focusing on my assignments. I'm gonna be traveling, so. I don't want to may not get back to you uh, fast. Uh, if I if you send me the forward, I'll try to do forward for you guys. Uh, yeah, Mashani Allen is amazing at transcribing. 
Um, I'll try to do forwards for you guys. I don't have a problem at all with doing that. It just may take a little bit of time because I have to focus on my assignments next. So I want to pray for you guys. We have permission for names and acknowledgments. You don't really got if you're not something them, you said something good. And even if you're talking about somebody and you said something good, you don't have to change their name. Listen, now y'all go forth and be great. I love y'all. This has been fun. Okay, so Father, I thank you for those who have invested in this webinar that you have put upon them, that I've stretched them and challenged them and caused them to expand and to explode. And Father, even as they have begun such a great assignment, I pray a special finisher that it's a problem, even as many of them may not be at the point where they're finished today, but that you will cause that finishing grace to be upon them. Let what the impartation they received in this class be something that will be eternal, be something that they will be able to carry out and even teach and train other people. I pray that you cause their books to be heard all, all over the world. Let the anointing be upon their books, upon their writing. Make them pens or any writers that you will continue to stretch them and challenge them and strengthen them. Father, let them be able to overcome uh, the, the warfare that's attached. I pray favor over them. Favor even with publishers and self-publishers. Any person that's assigned to a system, let favor and grace be upon them. I said that finances will not be a struggle. It will not be an issue. I declare from the north, south, east, and west that money will come unto them. And even as you have given them the vision, God, give let them have no sorrow. Let them have joy in their journey, joy in their writing. I release peace upon them now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the new authors that are rising out of the earth. That the words will be heard on soil and ground that they may never even walk upon. I just declare, Father, an impartation of the scribes anointing that they will write, 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 and write. They will pour out. They will chronicle. They will begin to write things they've dreamed about, things they heard. Father, they won't waste their words any longer. I thank you, Lord, that every spirit of abortion to their destinies, God, I thank you, Lord, that no more would they give prema have premature processes, but they will actually deliver this assignment and it will be excellent. It will be excellent. Let an excellent grace come upon them now. Let them protect them, shield them. Let no weapon formed against them be able to prosper and let them be celebrated in this hour, Father. I thank you. And even, Father, give them peace right now where many of them are beginning to struggle and having anxiety and panic attacks about what they said. And then and many of them are feeling like I said too much and they're being overwhelmed and the enemy I've come against them. I break the power of darkness over them now in the name of Jesus. I thank you Lord the Holy Spirit will begin to speak to them and they're going to flow. Let the dam that was once held up holding them from writing and have been in the way. That spirit of resistance I break your power and I break your thrust off their life. I declare that they're going to thrust and they're going to write and they're going to flow and they're going to excel. They're going to advance and greatness your portion, says the Lord. You shall write great things and greatness shall be your portion. I declare it in Jesus' name. Let favor be your portion in this hour. Listen, let the hustling anoint that has begun to soar. Yes, I release momentum upon them. I release a Adrenaline upon them now in the name of Jesus. I am excited about their destinies, Lord. Let them launch into an hour and a season of great celebration. And Father, even open up social media, Father, let many begin to hear their names that have never heard them before. Let them astonish many where many have said it cannot be that they will never be nothing. I thank you that today you're making the miracle signs and wonders to their bloodlines. And even now, let the bloodline break breakers arise and curses that was on the bloodline. Let it be broken. Let it be dismantled in Jesus' name. Let them just arise and shine and know that they light out come and let the glory of Yahweh be upon them now in the name of Jesus. And I give you glory for them. Amen, you guys. Blessings. Now, go forth and break. Go forth and be great. I love y'all. It has been fun. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I want you guys to uh, make sure that you bombard social media. Hashtag, can y'all do me a favor and really shout out if
if you believe that this webinar has been proven, really shift your life and touch your life, I would like for you to definitely promote that and let it be known. And even uh, we will keep you posted in the days to come about the marketing and promotional class. All right. So, hashtag complete the books dot com. Oh, complete the books. Yeah. Hashtag complete the books. So Apostle Beth, I love you. Jacqueline, I love you. Dr. Lanisa, I love you. Dr. April, I love you.